Hey, AJ, uh, I'm sure you saw that drop in Nashville in your sleep for a couple of weeks. How much pressure had you put on yourself to, to make up for that one today? Oh, I replayed it. It was in my mind for like two weeks, to be honest. Uh, um, it, was a, it was definitely a rough week. Uh, I was just trying to just shake back. You know, but I do, I do, I do, I have learned it's, it's week to week, some highs and lows. You got to appreciate the lows, you know, because it, it gives you ready, it gives you, it gives you more motivation. So, um, so yeah. How big of a moment was that for you guys? Um, up 28 to 14, and Vrabel calls timeout, takes the punt team off the field on fourth down, and really lets you guys go for the kill shot there. Um, that just shows what, what type of company he has, uh, has in us. Uh, uh, he he has that aggressive mindset. Um, he he tells us all the time we need to be aggressive. So uh, so we was cool with the call. So yeah. Chris Harris. AJ, how big of a statement is it the last two weeks to go on the road and beat Baltimore and then Indianapolis for you guys trying to get where you want to go? Um, it's always tough to win on the road. Um, I was a, that's a really good team over there. Um, um, it, it definitely says a lot, though, but we know that's not what we're trying to do. We, we, we still got a long road ahead. It's, it's week to week, like I said. We're trying to do one and all every week, no matter if we're playing the home or away. Yeah. AJ, um, offensively, with the way you guys ran the ball so well early, I think Derek had 50 yards on the opening drive. Were you kind of licking your chops at that moment, thinking this is really going to open some stuff up for me? Oh, most definitely. Whenever Derek is doing his thing, uh, he opened up the pass game. You know, we got to we got to run the ball and lead to for that's our offense too. Anyway, we don't run the ball, but uh, you got to you got to run the ball so we can so they can open up and throw throw some things. So uh, when Derek doing his thing, you know, and then we get an opportunity and we got to make the most of the opportunity whenever we get a chance. And then also on that uh, kickoff return. Was was that your? Were you eyeing that before the kick as a possibility, or? Uh, on the sideline, I was joking with, with uh, Corey, Corey about it, uh, <laughs> saying I'm a crib beast. But uh, no, no, most definitely, I was trying to not get hit. <laughs> so, uh, but they told me they told me to be aggressive. The balls in there, you got to be aggressive. But my mindset was just catch the ball and get out of the way. But it, it parted like the real season. Yeah, no, it's tough. It's tough. A lot of times we're thinking, okay, um, it's going to be like a dummy now. You know, everybody just stay on the side. Um, hey, AJ, uh, one more for you on Derek. He's now got eight straight games of 100 yards rushing on the road. How important are those types of performances from him uh, just in sort of setting the tone for the offense, especially on the road when, you know, he's wearing down the defense? Oh, he's definitely a tone, sir. Everybody knows. Everybody knows he's playing against us. We're gonna get the ball to Derek. Uh, him doing his thing, like I said, they open up the path, you know. So uh, when he came out strong like that, it kind of it kind of let us know what, what type of day it was gonna be, you know. Um, when he come out starting off hot like that, you know, because usually, you know, he get going, but he really wears people down in, in, in like the late second half. So when he get going like that, he gives us a lot of momentum, a lot of confidence. So so it was feeding off his energy. Thanks, Eddie. Wrap up with Jim Wyatt. AJ, I know you're always looking to score. It's one thing last week when you catch the ball inside the 10 and get in, but what, what's your mindset? What goes through your mind when you catch the ball going across the middle, kind of make a turn up field and you and you know you have a shot? What what kind of goes through your mind there? Uh, run through the catch. Run through the catch. Uh, your finger's going to be close. But running through the catch full speed, you know, don't, don't really give him an opportunity for him to – Tackle me as soon as I catch the ball. So remember, I got the ball in my hand. I'm trying to score. That's my mindset. Uh, and don't get tackled inside the team because I won't get the ball. <laughs> you don't give it to Derek. So that's and, my and, I, and I know uh, it's easier to play with an attitude, maybe more with a swagger when you're winning. But was there a different mindset by this team or a little bit de different enthusiasm level uh, compared to a couple of weeks ago? Uh, we, I mean, we just knew what type of game it was going to be. We knew it was going to be physical, a physical game, and the most physical team was going to win. You know, uh, and they're like I said, they're a really good team. They're, they're well coached. You know, so uh, like I said, the most physical team uh, we're going to win today. And we, we just did what we had to do. Glennon, again. 
Thank you, Kimberly. Uh, AJ, um, well, you, even going back to last year, you know, you guys had talked about the importance of, you know, maybe getting some home playoff games as opposed to being on the road. Uh, what's it mean now? I know there's still, you know, five games to go, but to be in first place and to, to have the division kind of in your hands, um, what, what does that mean to the team? Well, to be honest, it, it's not definitely in our hands yet. Like I said, it's a week-to-week league. Um, anything can happen each and every week. Anybody can beat anybody. Uh, so, uh, but moving forward, we're going to just uh, continue doing what we do, continue uh, focusing on the little things, the details, and, uh, and we, we go back to work.